Hello everybody, it's Andre, Commissioner of WWL here, and it's just an update video. So, we're making changes to the league. I know the camera might be a little bit tilted or whatever. I'm in my room, obviously. It's cold outside, almost in January. So it's close to football season, so I knew I'd have to make this video sooner than later. So here we are. Alright, so the first thing I just wanted to get through is that there will be eight teams this year we will be removing one wwl team and that will be the western wildcats they have been dismissed from the league none of the players have been have quit or left it's just the team if we want to make it work we had captains all come in we discussed it and wildcats in their one year had an al championship and a world series appearance as you know, they lost to the Eastern Eagles in four and beat the Northern Nighthawks in two in the ALCS. So yeah, and then since we are combining leagues, that is what the plan is. We are creating a new name, DWL, Dual Wolfball League. I know WWL has been our staple for two and a half years now, around there, but we can call it both ways. I might call it one way. Ira Kopernal, who was the captain of the Wildcats, now a captain of a new team, will be the other commissioner. Us two will come together, talk about everything before the league starts again up this year. We might have spring training games to show everybody how players are going to do and stuff like that. There's still a lot of planning. We've got about a month and a half until league resumes. So, yeah. And... BWL, which was their league, uh, they had three teams dismissed. They had the Midwest Monsters, who I was actually a part of. If anybody didn't know, I was in their league, as well as Ethan Bubcamp and Gavin Marabelli. They were part of that league, too. And that team was dismissed. You have the Western Walleye, who was part of the BWL, and the Central Crossfire, who actually was a pretty good team. I played against them. There are a bunch of unposted videos that we played there at Iris Field, is that's where we actually had two of our series. We had the Wildcats and Sharks series, and then the ALCS, we had the Wildcats Nighthawk series, the second one there. So yeah, so the teams are now the Southern Sluggers, who are from the BWL League, the Atlantic Aces, that is Ira Kopernal's new team, the Pacific Pirates, which is also from BWL, and then the five returning WWL teams are the Eastern Eagles, the Northern Nighthawks, the Eastern Emus, the Southern Sharks, and the Crabs are looking for a new team. So it will be the Coastal something eventually when we get to the league. All right, let me flip this page back. And we had the draft and all the teams. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. The captains for each team are the Sluggers is Brandon DeBuchler, who is a returning captain. Uh, Ira Kopernal is the captain of the Atlantic Aces. Alan Pomering is the captain of the Pacific Pirates. Then Andre Tainter, captain of the Eastern Eagles. Landon Bob, captain of the Northern Nighthawks. Fisher Sturdivant, captain of the Eastern Emus. And then a change with the Sharks. Alan Wilkie decided to step down from captain and elect Seth Toombs. And then Seth Toombs, on draft night, decided that he did not want to become a captain. So he gave it to Junior Valdivia. And Junior Valdivia declined, so then Seth Toombs had to give it to Michael Hernan, who will be making his WWL debut after being drafted twice and then never playing. But he is now going to play. He has confirmed that he will stay in the league and everything like that. And then the final team, the Coastal whatevers, are going to be uh, managed, or the captain is Henry Drone. So only one change in captain, and yeah. So the draft, um, obviously there are eight teams. The draft went, it was not a snake draft, so if you had the first pick, you had the first pick in each round. So the Sluggers had the first pick, the Pirates had the second pick, the Aces had the third pick, the Nighthawks had the fourth pick, the Sharks had the fifth pick, the to-be-decided team, Henry Drummer's team, had the sixth pick, and the Emus had the seventh pick, and the Eagles had the eighth pick. It was kind of normal for the Eagles to get the eighth pick because... They won the championship last year, and they've won it two years in a row. So, yeah. 
So with the first pick, the Sluggers selected Ethan Bumcamp, WWL. With the second pick, the Pirates selected Fletcher Harper, PWL. With the third pick, the Atlantic Aces selected Isaiah Copernol, WWL and BWL. The Nighthawks selected fourth overall, Bevan Dennis, WWL. The Sharks selected fifth overall, Noah Arrington, WWL. The, I guess we call them Coastal Crabs for now, selected Ethan Cagle, WWL. The Eastern Emus selected seventh overall, Colin Keister, WWL. With the eighth overall pick, the Eastern Eagles selected Keegan Ramirez, WWL. In the second round, there were three rounds, by the way, the Southern Sluggers selected Jackson Bumcamp, WWL. The Pacific Pirates with the second pick selected Gavin Marabelli, who had labrum, is going to have labrum surgery, so he will be out for probably most of the season with that injury. So they put him on IR and can sign two players now because there are five available roster spots, and if you have a player on IR, that frees up a whole other spot. With the third pick of the second round, the Atlantic Aces selected Lucas Smith from BWL. With the fourth pick, the Northern Nighthawks selected Alan Wilkie, WWL. With the fifth pick, the Southern Sharks selected Brady Goplin, WWL. With the sixth pick, the Coastal Crabs, for now, selected Owen Blankenship, rookie, WWL. With the seventh pick, the Eastern Emus selected Cale Williamson, rookie, WWL. With the eighth pick, the Eastern Eagles selected Junior Valdivia, WWL. Now the final round. With the first pick in the third round, the Southern Sluggers selected Malachi Fretz, BWL. The second pick in the third round, the Pacific Pirates selected Casey Pomerang, BWL. With the third pick, the Atlanta Eight. Atlantic Aces, excuse me, selected Connor Hyen, w, or BWL, excuse me again. With the fourth pick, the Northern Nighthawks selected Carson Ramirez, WWL. With the fifth pick, the Southern Sharks selected Talon Childs, rookie WWL. With the sixth pick, the Coastal Crabs, for now, selected Drayton Dego, WWL. With the seventh pick, the Eastern Emu selected Dietrich Buchholz, WWL. With the final pick of the draft, the Eastern Eagles selected Terry Sage, WWL. Now, here are also the undrafted free agents that were signed either after the draft or just coming up to this video. The Northern Nighthawks uh, signed Rich Offerdahl, who was a former Eastern Eagle, no, excuse me, Southern Shark and Eastern Emu. The Sharks selected, I guess, uh, Draven Cochran out of free agency. He has only played for the Southern, Southern Sharks his entire career, so I guess he's staying where he is. And then the Coastal Crabs selected Grant Sturdivant, rookie. He's also a rookie. There are a few new players on here. Uh, next year, I don't know what our plan is for the draft. I don't know if we're going to have too many new players or what. But we will just stick to the plan for right now. We have to get through this season first. And then the Eastern Eagles picked up Carson Kenyon who did not appear in 2022 so yeah um that's mostly it I explained all the teams I explained the draft there are a bunch of free agents I can put that in the comment section or in the description so yeah um the awards will be out soon I'll be doing a bunch of that so yeah that's pretty much it and thank you for your time. I'll see you all next time.